Hi everyone and welcome to Positively Kimmy. I am Kimmy. If you are new here, welcome. This is a safe space. And if you're one of my returning subscribers and my besties. Hi guys, how are you? I hope you're all having an amazing day. Welcome to What's Up Wednesday where I tell you a little bit about my life so you get to know me a little bit better and if you leave me some comments below I will get to know you a little bit better and I just think it makes for a really nice interaction. So I'm going to just jump right in because on my last video I said there was a lot going on. It wasn't so much that there was a lot going on that was a negative thing but there was a lot going on like day to day to day with appointments. So the last time I talked to you, uh, the very next day I had to go pick up my 21 year old nephew, who's the baby in, of my nephews, my youngest nephew, from the airport. He had been in Chicago for about a month and a half visiting some friends and he's never lived out there. He met these friends um, and he's gone out there a few times and they treat him really well. So he had a blast while he was out there. But it was time to come home. Like, I missed his face. I missed the sound of his voice. He's one of these people that when you text him, if he is busy, you, he might not answer you for a few hours. So <laughs> him and his mom, me and his mom, when the first time he went to Chicago to see his friends, we were like, listen, if you do not pick up the phone the first time we call, if you do not answer us within five minutes of texting you, we will be out there with a SWAT team trying to save you from whatever horrible things are going on out there. And he was fine, you know, so he's going back a few times and I'm sure he's going to go back a few more times. But I had to pick him up at the airport. At first it was, oh, and Kim, can you come get me and be here by 530? I said, okay, that's fine. Um, at the airport's about 45 minutes away from my house. I was like, all right, that's fine. I was going with my sissy to pick him up. Um, then he calls and he's like, oh, I'm going to be there early. I need you here at 415. I said, okay, I'll have to leave even earlier because traffic going in that direction is towards New York City and the airport and there's just so much traffic. So I was like, all right, I'll leave even earlier. Then all of a sudden he calls me back and he's like, oh no, um, it got canceled again. He's like, we'll be there at 515. Can you be there then? Absolutely, I can be there. I mean, thank God that I am flexible. And then he calls back and he's like, oh, now it's not going to be until 615. I was like, no problem. So that was the first day since that was on Thursday when I talked to you guys um, last on Wednesday. Then the very next day, after I pick up my one nephew, I have two nephews. I have one sissy, I have two nephews, and I have two boys. So between us two girls, because it's only me and my sissy, we have four boys. So the, I have, one of my nephews lives with me, and the very next day I had to go with him to an appointment that he had, which I go to with him all the time because I like the ride. It's, it's again, like 40 minutes away from the house, 30, 40 minutes away from the house. And I like spending the one-on-one -on -one time with him. So we had to be there by like two o'clock after the airport's fiasco situation thing. And we didn't get home till like eight o'clock that night. Um, I was exhausted and I still went because this is my time with my nephew and I'm not going to give that up for anything. Then the very next day after that, so that was Thursday, Friday I had to take my sister to a doctor appointment. Now, Sissy doesn't like to drive. She had, her and I have both had neck surgery. So I can't turn my head any further than this to the left. Like I can turn it and look back this way. She can't turn this way. So between the two of us, we can see the road perfectly fine, which is really dangerous. Cause what I can't see on one side, she can see. And what she can't see on one side, I can see. But she doesn't like to drive. Um, and she doesn't really like to be in a car for any length of time because her body is just mangled. Um, and so we, I took her to her appointment. Okay, then the very next day, so this is Saturday we're going on now, I had to take my mom to an appointment um, on the 3rd, and after her appointment, her appointment was with who, I can't remember what doctor she went to, um, uh, I, I have no idea, oh, we had to go to Miracle Ear because mama has hearing aids, and trust me, they don't work. 
She had one in because the other one had to be sent out. She says she can hear fine now. She still does not answer. She still cannot hear, you know, um, and they want to upgrade her hearing aids for another $2,000. Like, that's a lot of money. She paid 4000 for them to begin with because insurance doesn't help with that. So she had to, you know, finance that. And now they want another two grand so that she can hear better. Well, the first one should have made her hear better. And... You know, there are times she can hear clearly, so whether it's selective hearing sometimes or not, I don't know. Um, but it's, it's so funny. So we had to do that, and then I went and got my nails done professionally for the first time. And I decided to do red for Valentine's Day. I think they came out really pretty. I'm going to have them cut down a little bit next week because they've grown a little bit. And I just absolutely love them. I don't, I'm not a red nail polish type girl, but because it's Valentine's Day, I decided I would wear it. Red makes me very uncomfortable um, on my nails. I just feel like, I don't know, it, it, it's just a lot for me. So I decided to get it. It's got some glitter and some bling and some sparkle. And I think it's pretty and it's not like, an orangey red or something like that so I'm like okay I could even wear this color at Christmas time but do you know what like they charge $70 for a full set okay maybe that's not bad they charge $60 for a fill-in I was like absolutely freaking not I'm gonna go to this place it's about 20 minutes from my house where this place was like three minutes from my house I'm gonna go 20 minutes away so I can only pay $40 for a fill-in because that's ridiculous. They want you there every two weeks and pay $60 for a fill-in. I'm like, absolutely not. I am not doing that. That's what I would pay at the other place for a full set. But my daughter-in-law recommended this place to me and they do a beautiful job and you're in and out. You know, it's not like it's taking three hours or anything because I'm very impatient. I can't sit for that length of time. Excuse me. Excuse me again. Um, but I was like, are you kidding me? I'm like $60 every two weeks for a fill-in? You've got to, be, I'm, you've got to be crazy. Not when that's what a, a full set costs at the other place that I used to go to, which I loved. I just didn't feel like going out of town. So I thought that was absolutely ridiculous. Let me know what you guys think. If you, if you wear, uh, gel nails or acrylic nails or have tips or anything, am I just like so old fashioned and haven't had it done in so long that these prices have really gone up that much. I, I, I thought it was ridiculous. So, okay, after that, so that was Saturday. Um, then on Tuesday, which was yesterday, I went to Walmart and did a whole bunch of grocery shopping. I couldn't even do a haul because my ex-husband, who's my caretaker, comes in and puts everything away right away. So I don't have a chance to show anything that I ever buy from Walmart, but I got mostly crap food. Um, Mama likes to eat crap food. I have, I had gotten all my meats last time and I haven't used my crock pot in a minute. I have to find a recipe that kind of appeals to me. And I might make chili in my crock pot, but the weather's starting to get warmer. So I hear we're having an early spring that the groundhog I don't know if he saw his shadow or didn't see his shadow, but I hear we're having an early spring and the weather here in New York is getting warmer. It's in the 40s, um, which to me is like amazing. Uh, and I can't wait to have an early spring, even though I just bought all these sweatshirts and heavy sweaters and things. Um, so I, I would like to now have to go and like redo my wardrobe for uh, the spring stuff that's coming coming um yeah so I didn't have a chance to show you guys anything I got from Walmart but I got like cereals I got um like I said I didn't need any meat so I got cereals I got pop tarts mama loves pop tarts and goes through them like water I had gotten if you've never had the Ritz crisps they're very thin and they make them in sour cream and onion everything original the sour cream and onion is phenomenal it is so good i don't know what the calories are i don't know what um the sodium level has to be off the roof 
I, I don't know what a serving is, but this woman could sit there and eat a whole bag of them with no problem. So, and she's not like, oh, like morbidly obese or anything, but she just likes to pick, you know, instead of sitting down for a real meal, she, she's a picker. Um, then tomorrow, or today actually, I have to bring my mom back to another doctor. She's going to go see the hematologist and have a whole bunch of blood work done. And I have a telehealth. And then on Thursday, my friend's father is having a stomach surgery. He has stage three stomach cancer. Um, and this will be his second surgery. He was good for 10 years and they did a scan and they found he had nodules and thankfully only two of them are cancerous and they think they caught it in time it, because it is stage three. So I'm going to be sending him prayers and lots of love. And that's been my week. I mean, like I said, there was a lot going on. And of course I babysat my grandson on Monday. Now this is what happened on Monday. I always babysit on Mondays so my son and my daughter-in-law could go to the gym. And I asked them if I could bring the baby here because his mom had gotten sick. She had a respiratory infection. Um, well, they told her it was a common cold. They told her, oh, well, you don't have COVID, so you're good. Go, go, you know, go and just take something over the counter. Uh, the very next day, which was today, she went back to urgent care and they said that she had a common cold, but she really doesn't because she's running a fever. She sounds very bronchial to me, you know, as a mom and a mima and a grandma, you can hear bronchitis. You, you know when someone is, has a bronchial infection um, and she was having trouble breathing. So she went and they told her again, there's nothing they can do because it's viral. I still think it's bronchitis and they make these um, cough medicine because her back hurts from coughing so much and it's called tears of Teflon or no sorry, Teflon pearls, and it suppresses your core for 12 hours, and you only need to take two in the day, in a day, one in the morning. Oh, look at the balloon. I have no idea how that happened. One in the morning and one at night, um, and it should help. So I told her I would get her some of those. Um, it's a prescription, and we happen to have some left over from when I had my respiratory infections. And um, I wonder where those balloons came from. That is so cool. So, um, tonight we watched the baby at the house. I fed him dinner again and we just had the best time. He loves being in my room because this recliner is elect electric. So he sits on the recliner with me and he likes to press the buttons and go up and down and back and forth. And then my bed is right next to my recliner and he has me lift him up and put him on the bed and he just sits there like this and watches TV. We put on cartoons and everything and he was ready to go night night. But then my son said, listen, I'm not home yet. He was doing laundry today. Um, he's like, I'm not home yet. Could you please do me a favor and, you know, um, take the baby upstairs and give him a shower and just put his pajamas on, which we, me and my ex-husband did. And we stayed up there for quite a while and had a really nice time. And he was just, you guys already know, you know how I feel about him. So I told her if she needs any help today, that when I'm done doing my appointments, uh, he goes to school till 3.30, I would take him at 3.30 and just, you know, love on him and give him his snacks and make him a grilled cheese sandwich or something like that. And we'll get him to eat. So that's what's been going on. And that's my What's Up Wednesday. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing a little bit about my hectic week. Um, and with that being said, be happy, be healthy, be blessed, and most of all, be positively you because there's nobody else quite like you. And that makes me so incredibly happy. Mm, you guys rock. Love you.